This is the homework for lesson 14. It's module 8 of second grade. Name first, please. And fill in the missing numbers. So we see, look, it's like we're skip counting here. 0, 5, 10. It's going up. And it's going up by fives. So we're counting by fives. 15, 20. Now take your time here because a little, if you rush it, it's really easy to skip numbers, especially once you get higher than 25. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And then you can see the numbers are getting smaller. So after 60, then we're going back down again, starting at 60, 55, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 0. And filling in the missing minutes on the face of the clock. Same thing. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, or starting at zero. Because when you get to 60 minutes, you start a new hour, which would be zero minutes. We're counting minutes here. When you get to 60, you start over again. Draw the minute hands, but that's when you're telling time. Draw the minute hands on the clocks to match the correct time. Remember my trick? Um, if you watch one of the earlier Telling Time videos, for drawing minute hands, I start at the number that I want and draw into the center of the clock. That way you're sure to get a, 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 a clock hand that's the right length for minutes. And you notice the difference between minutes and hours. Sometimes it's hard to tell looking at some of these clocks or pictures of clocks, really. If the hands aren't next to each other, it's hard to tell which one's longer at times. And when that happens, just look at whichever one is touches the numbers or almost touches them or covers the numbers, that's the minute hand. The hour hand is always is almost always going to be shorter, at least in these pictures. It's going to be shorter, and it's not going to get all the way to the numbers. So for 325, I'm, I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 so it's going to I'm going to start at the 5 and then they're going to go from the 5 right to the center of the clock that way you get a hand that points exactly where you want it to also because you're starting where you want to go you just go back into the middle it's a lot easier to do it that way in fact you can even use a straight edge to draw the clock hand 7 15 5 10 15 there's the 3 for the 15 into the middle there 9.55. Well, you might know from counting backwards, if this is 60, then that's 55. Or if you're not so confident about counting backwards, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and there we are at 55 again. So that's going to be right about where the 11 is, and then back to the center of the clock. There we go. That's 11 o'clock. Uh, that's 9.55. And look at that here. I want to point this out. Look at the hour hand. It looks like it's on the 10, doesn't it? Let me zoom in on it. It looks like it's on the 10, but you can tell if I really zoom in on it, it's only almost on the 10. Because here it is. It's, it's only 5 minutes until 10 o'clock, but it's not 10 o'clock yet. So the time is still 9 and some minutes. Look out for that, because the closer this minute hand gets to, to 12, back getting back to the 12, the closer it gets to that, the more the hour hand is going to look like it's already at the next hour. So anytime it's up, the minute hand's at the 9, the 10, or the 11, the 12, cl really close to the 12, it's getting there. And you have to be care a little more careful about how you read, how you read the, the uh, hour hand. 12.30. We're drawing hour hands now. So at 12.30... Our hand's going to be halfway between the 12 and the 1. 
and it's not going to go all the way to the numbers, so I'm just going to start part way there, like that. Right, because at 12.30 is halfway in between 12 and 1 o'clock, so the hour hand should be halfway in between the 12 and the 1. For 10.10, that's only 10 minutes after 10 o'clock, so the hour hand's going to look like it's still really pointing at the 10. Start right about there and come in, make it short, and the hour hands are shorter. 3.45. 345 is really closer to 4. I just talked about when it, the minute hand is in this quarter of the clock face, it's going to be close to the next hour. So it, this says it's 3, but it, the hour hand is going to look like it's close to the 4. So we want to start like a little bit past halfway in between the two. Not right there. There we go. Because we don't, we don't want it to be too long and it look like another minute hand. There we go. Draw the hour and minute hands on the clocks to match the correct time, 6.55. You know, take a look at the hour and the minute right there. That's almost 7 o'clock. In five more minutes, it's going to be 7 o'clock. So the hour hand is going to be almost pointing right at the 7. Although you could be forgiven for, and I made that a little bit too long for an hour hand because it's just about where the numbers are. Although you could be forgiven for drawing it pointing right at the 6, because it does say 6, and in, a lot of times in second grade you'll get away with that. 55 minutes, that's like mm, 5 minutes short of 60, so it's going to be, the minute hand's going to go to the 11. There. And now, see, it looks like it's almost 7 o'clock, and that it should, because 655 is almost 7 o'clock. 150, that's really almost 2 o'clock, right? Because we want to go backwards from 60, it's 55, 50. So it's gonna, the minute hand is going to go where the 10 is. All right, that's the 50. So I'm going to start my minute hand and draw it in like that. And then it's 150, so that means it's going to be almost 2. So the hour hand should be almost pointing at the 2. There, and make, it, make sure it's a little bit shorter. Just like that. 825 so that's 5 10 15 20 25 so there's a minute hand that's the 25 I'm going to start right on the 5 and go right back to the center and then 8 this is now you can see that this is going to be almost 830 right so that's like halfway in between 8 and 9 so that's where my hour hand is going to point about about in the middle in between and keep it shorter because it's an hour hand, not a minute hand. 440. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Again, take your time when you're counting by fives. And once you get around that 30, it's easy to skip them and not realize it. Skip numbers and then not go far enough or go too far. There's the 40 minutes and now I need... So it's going to be around halfway, right? Because it's close to, if it was pointing, if the minute hand was pointing at 6, that would be 4.30. So it's close to that. It would be right in the middle between the 4 and the 5. So let's kind of make it like that. But keep it short there. It might be a little too close to the 5, but we'll take it. 7.45. And let me zoom in on these a little bit just so you can really see it. 7.45. 45 minutes, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. There's your 45 minute mark. Start the number, bring it in. That's going to be closer to 8 than it is 7. So I'm going to make my hour hand a little closer to the 8 than the 7. Keep it short. 205, that's just 5 minutes. Right there, five minute mark is the one. If you really zoom in on these, you can count them one minute at a time because it's one, two, three, four, five. There it is, right? Two, zero, five. So zero, five, that's the minute hand is going to go from the number right into the middle. And we need this. This is just a little bit after two. So the hour hand should be pointing pretty much right at the two. But keep it short because it's an hour hand. About like that. Mm -hmm. 
what time is it? And now we just write down the time, the numbers for the time on these lines down here. So we're in between the one and the two, which means our hour is one something. And now we just count the minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 minutes. 135. And on this one here, we can see our hour hand. It's the short one. It's in between the 10 and the 11. So that means it's 10 something. It's not 11 yet. So it's after 10 o'clock. How far after 10 o'clock is it? It's five minutes after 10 o'clock. So the hour is 10 and the minutes are five. We don't write this for five minutes. As you've already seen, we have to write two digits there, even if we only need a one or a two or a five, right? Because here you can see it in the 205. So we write zero five. And we only do that for the single digit minutes. So you wouldn't write when you got, like, for instance, when you got to 1011, it wouldn't be 10011. You, you, we don't do that. This zero is just a placeholder to make sure it doesn't look like, because if we wrote 105, you might think it was 50. How would you tell? So that's why it matters to have that there.